so I'm going to try again today. I just want to show you real quick. Um, it is a little frustrating dealing with the wire, but it's not a huge deal. You know, you got this little extra bit of wire that gets tangled up and you have to untangle it. Probably if I carried things around a little easier, it'd be easier. But I'm going to just show you, it's actually not too bad to get this thing in appropriate uh, SWR. Now today, the wire is strung out like this. This is my uh, my ground plane and I got it just bundled up like that and you'll notice when I key hopefully you can see that okay notice there's no the SWR looks good there's no lines now like the other day it was wet and so the the situations were different and so I had to bring this wire in a bit but you can kind of tell and a lot of times, just depending, I can just adjust the SWR by just changing the wire. So for example, now it's going to be completely out of whack because before I just had it. Well. Hold on. There. See, you can see the SWR jump up there. So now I'll just toss it back out. Now it'll be a little better probably. So it's about halfway. And now I'll just bring it out further. And we just adjust it that way. And now, as you can see, now it's no line at all for the SWR. So hopefully you can see that in the camera. Um, but basically, if you couldn't, um, the, the, the little LED here was lighting up longer. And now there's no, the SWR, when I click the, when I key it, it doesn't show anything. So that's like one to one. Or it's really hard to tell on the 891. 891. It's really hard to tell on this 817 um, exactly what the SWR is uh, because like three bars doesn't necessarily mean anyway I won't go into that but as you can see you just kind of adjust the wire until you have a good SWR and, and that's all it takes. Um, so let's see what we can hear today and again I'm, I'm not having any issue with this antenna for receive it actually it does pretty good so let me just but like I say unfortunately it could be potentially awesome for digital modes, except as soon as you have any kind of electronics around with this antenna, you won't hear anything. All you'll hear is hiss. Um, but when you when it's when all you have is like your key and your your mic, it's clear. It's a good clean, a good clean receive. I mean, it'd be so awesome to use this antenna for digital modes, but it just isn't going to cut it. Um, watch my other videos regarding this antenna, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, pretty much it goes deaf. All you hear is just local noise. But for receive, if you don't have a lot of noise sources, it's really good for receive. So let's keep going here. Lots of ready today. Nobody talking now. Oh, I changed my wrong button. Go back. Voice is a little weak today. Thanks, Florida. You're K5 LA. Let's see. If Williams of WMSN. All right, 
right. Thanks, California. Uh, another station. K5 airline line missing. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Uh, Kilo November 4, Victor, I should say, uh, Victor, Yankee November, I think, 59, Williams, WMSN. Kilo Mike 4, Victor, Yankee November, correct? All right, uh, in my county is Williamson, and your state is? Oh, this guy's going to want to know my county. I'm not doing the contest, but he's going to want to know my county, even if I'm not doing it, so I, sh I should look that up. Hey Siri, what county is East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania in? The county of East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania is Monroe County, yeah. Pennsylvania. Monroe County, all right. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Uh, ending Mike Uniform. Okay, November 8, India Mike Uniform in Michigan. 59, Williamson, WMSN. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. 59, Williamson, WMSN. I have you as a 59. I'm in Monroe County in Pennsylvania. I don't know the letters, sorry. Uh, just uh, Pennsylvania is all I need. Thank you very much. M3. If I could resolve the issues with this antenna when I have the computer by it, it actually would be pretty sweet. This guy I just contacted was a line of sight, basically 1,454 miles away. So that's really pretty impressive in my 15, basically 1,500 miles. Bands aren't really good. I mean, I'm sure they may be better today than other days. Um, but I mean, this isn't like, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, so now that I actually had a chance to try this antenna, now he's probably got good ears. Um, so, but that's during a contest. He had no issue hearing my call sign during a contest. So there's obviously a lot of other people I'm sure that had more, more power. So I'm actually pleased with that. Uh, I kind of did not get very impressed with it when I really couldn't test it mobile. The other thing I'm noticing is when my iPads buy it, it doesn't seem to be picking up any noise from my iPad. Look at that. So, um, while it may be picking up a lot, noise from, a lot of noise from my laptop, maybe I'll be able to pull off digital modes after all using an iPad. But the other issue I had with digital modes was, and it will still be a problem with this antenna now that I think about it, is as soon as you pump out signal, it kicks out the sound card. And I've noticed with the iPad it would do the same thing. Um, <laughs> not sure if it actually wouldn't fry it eventually, um, but I'm going to try it with it. You, you need 5 watts because, like I said, the other issue was, like I said, it would kick out this USB sound card. I've tried multiple sound cards. I tried correct, um, uh, like the rig blaster that has the filtering in it and all that stuff. And the most I could pump out with this antenna was 2.5 watts before it would kick out the USB sound card. Whereas if I have a real antenna that's got a feed line where you can run the antenna some distance from the radio, I was able to pump out the 5 watts. Again, keep in mind, this guy heard me, but he heard me at 5 watts. I don't think he would have heard me at less. Alright, 
So now I'm going to try a little bit of CW. I'm hoping maybe if I'm doing this right, maybe I'll be picked up on a reverse beacon. We'll see. Um, if somebody actually answers me, I'm going to have a hard time talking back because I'm still struggling at CW. messed it up and I don't think the reverse beacon will pick that up now because I guess you're supposed to do two CQs and then your call sign twice and then the reverse beacon will pick it up um, so I think I don't know we'll see I think somebody's responding huh? I was just talking to the camera what's up I just want you to let you know that your noises that you're making out here are not appreciated. Oh, sorry. It's like... I'm trying to listen to this guy. Okay. okay. The important part is when you... Because it's not like there's a kid squeaking out there. I did do the uh, reverse beacon network and look for my call sign when I was just doing the 10 words per minute. Um, and one person did, one spotter did spot me at 10 words per minute, uh, 2 dB for signal to noise ratio, um, and then it was today's date, uh, uh, at, uh, 1812, uh, Zulu time, uh, so basically, like, 20 minutes ago, um, so that was definitely my thing, and this guy is located at... Um, right here, I'll just show it to you. So there we go. Um, K2MFF. So let's see where K2MFF is located. K2MFF call call sign. New Jersey. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I'm I'm like right next to New Jersey, so that's not a great. Uh, right now, I'm in Pennsylvania, so <laughs> uh, like literally like 30 miles from New Jersey, uh, where we're at. Maybe I think maybe 30 miles. I don't know. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the only person that got me on the reverse beacon for CW was in New Jersey. Uh, but if he got me, then others should have got me, but they didn't. So, yeah, I can, I can one thing's for certain, it, it definitely is good for close, apparently, because <laughs> uh, I was only pumping out 5 watts. Um, so that's a little interesting. The MFJ 1820 antenna, I think this was the MFJ 1820, for 20 bucks. I would say that it's worth adding to your your go bag or whatever your you know your, your little radio whatever you got it in, um, just for because it, it packs up really small, um, smaller than a mag loop or anything like that. And if you don't have opportunity, like I just brought this so I could practice CW. I didn't actually expect to get on the air. I didn't expect anybody to hear me. Um, of course, now I'm spending all this time making videos, and now I got to go get work done. But this was just really exciting to see that this little antenna does show some promise. So, for the 20 25 bucks that that little MFJ uh, 20 meter antenna costs, I, I think I would recommend it. 
um, just to add. Don't don't expect a lot. Um, but if you have a situation where you can't take a bigger antenna, where you don't have a mag loop, or you don't want to carry a mag loop, but you have your little radio in a bag, like mine, when I have it in that little bag, it's tiny and it's always packed. I can just throw it in the back of the car and take it, and if I happen to, to get some contacts, great. Um, but I would strongly say, um, I think that this would really show a lot of promise if you, if you know code. Um, I bet you could do really well with this antenna if you know code. Um, because you're not going to get any noise, and the fact that I did 1500 miles with voice, with phone, um, you should do really well doing CW on, with that little antenna. Um, I'm actually quite pleased. Um, so that's my review of that antenna. Um, again, I still will stick by my, my, my thoughts that I don't know that you'd want to get anything like the 40 or the, you know, the, the one that goes 10 to 40, um, just because it, it's still not overly efficient. I'm sure the guy that heard me 1,500 miles away had a really good antenna, and he might have been pointed exactly my direction. Um, but, you know, it, 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 I think 20 is probably the only one that I would still stick by. I don't think there would be anything else. would be great if you wanted to listen to other channels. Um, maybe if you wanted to listen. Uh, use it for just listening. Uh, but, you know, the other thing too is if you're going to start using those other bands like on the 40, uh, the 40 to 10 or whatever it is, um, the other drawback you have with that is, of course, you're going to have a lot longer ground plane wire that you have to carry along with you and hassle with. And frankly, this 12-foot wire is kind of a pain. Uh, it gets all tangled up in my bag and everything else. So I don't know that I'd want to carry a longer wire in this particular example. Um, just because it's it's kind of a pain. So if you're wanting to keep it small and simple, yeah, I think this is probably the only antenna I would ever choose in this type of category. Would just be this the 20 meter. So, but... Um, I would say I'm not underwhelmed. I say now it's exp it's it it kind of does perform as what I've seen in other videos, but it's still a very limited use. Um, it's not going to be like a wonderful antenna for you, but again, it packs up really tiny, tiny and small, and for twenty twenty five bucks, you might as well have it. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. It's a little better than before. At least this time I'm saying you might as well add it to your kit. Um, but, uh, but just have realistic, realistic expectations, um, about what this antenna can and will never be able to do.